Hi, I couldn't help but throw in some of the overused, overly dramatic fly fishing music to start this first ever Texas Fly Caster year in review. Hi, and welcome to the fall wind down of the fly fishing in North Texas. Of course, when I say wind down, I'm talking about fly fishing for carp on Lake Ray Roberts, something I guide for. And I thought this would be a good year to do a greatest hits, although I'm not a very big fan of greatest hits when it comes to music. Uh, we'll call it a compilation. That sounds better. So we've got a compilation of video and still photos from this year, fly fishing for carp and other fish on and around Lake Ray Roberts here in North Texas. You know, we're here kind of getting close to Thanksgiving and this is when things really change in North Texas. Um, the carp are gone, the bass are spotty, and well, what I do personally is I concentrate on two different things that are many, many miles apart. I fly fish on Blue River and Beaver's Bend in Oklahoma, which is not too far from here. And I fly fish also on the Texas Gulf Coast for redfish and speckled trout and flounder, and especially concentrating in November and December on the flounder run, which is really fun on a fly rod. You can check out, I have other videos and stories on www.texasflycaster.com about those flounder runs from years past. Um, but we're heading towards Thanksgiving, and so what I thought I'd do is give you guys something to watch. Um, there's also some footage in here from a, a short I'm working on called Recovery. Recovery is about, uh, I, don't, I don't really particularly enjoy making all these videos and all this about myself, but this is another one that I'm doing myself about myself and about the fishery on Ray Roberts, both of us recovering. Um, Ray Roberts recovering, into, it'll be in the third year of recovery in 2017 from drought. And for me, I've just finished one year of recovery from cancer um, in October, November, and I'm doing quite well and I've been cleared. But, uh, you know, they have that five-year thing going on. So anyway, it's about a dual recovery, so to speak. Uh, I appreciate everybody's um, um, positive thoughts when it comes to all that. I would sure like to get some help on making this uh, short if anybody's interested nearby. And as you can hear, the dogs are barking, so that must mean it's time for me to stop. Let's roll this. Have a great Thanksgiving. And make sure you check out the website, Texas Flycaster, or email me if you want to go fishing sometime, www.texasflycaster.com, and email at fly at texasflycaster.com. Abby! Abby, come here. Come here. Come here. Come here. Come here. Come here. Right here. Right here. Come up here. Come up here. Say hi to everybody. Say hi. Come up here. Yeah, oh yeah, you dog, barking dog. Okay, it's getting cold. Let's go inside. Let's go. test before uh, before I get the all clear all clear you know this, this whole recovery thing has lasted taken a lot longer than I thought it would and, and we're headed towards April now and, and uh, fish will be starting to come up and uh, you can't help but worry when you got one last test before you get the all clear and the doctors send you away for a little bit longer this time before they want to see you again. They seem to like me. OK, 
cash cow, I guess. But uh, anyway, it's a it's a big day tomorrow with that scan. What they do is they take radioactive glucose and and shoot you full of it, and then they take a picture and and see how it turns out. Uh, about as simple as that's about how simple it is. But anyway, I'm just. Uh, biding my time here waiting for it to warm up and waiting for those fish to come up and and uh thinking about the future you know looks like i've got one now and uh trying to avoid being a, a greeter at a local big box you know the name and uh try a lot of things to make a living you know while i'm trying to make a living fly fishing uh, once heard Stu App say that the first advice he gives a, a guy going to South Florida to be a fishing guide is don't quit your day job. And I didn't quit my day job, but my day job quit me just like so many of you guys, you know. Times are just not what they appear to be. And so I'm trying to figure out how to make a living while fly fishing. And, fly fishing while making a living. Just want to get some, you know, some trips on the books this, this spring and summer and, and have that skiff pay for itself and show people how good this, this fishery really is. It really is going to be a great year if all things remain the same and uh, my health gets better. I can get on the pole and we can go check it out. But I don't know, man. That last test is, is a doozy. As far as how thorough it is, they find lots of other things, always. And uh, I guess that's what it means to be getting older, you know? I don't feel like a uh, greeter at a local grocery store, but I might look like one now. Got a long way to go to recover for myself. Let's just hope that fishery gets ahead of me. And the uh, the flats light up here pretty soon. But I'm tired of waiting on it. Real tired. And then punch it. That where it's your tailing loops and everything else. I wouldn't do that at all. I don't need any double hauls or anything. This is only a five weight rod. And because I have let the rod move back and start faster. Is that clear so far? Okay. If you bend, the, if you don't bend the wrist. And notice that my elbow doesn't lock, doesn't lock here. I'm moving this elbow back and forth. This rod is making the cast. So we want to we want to go whatever direction you want to cast. The elbow and the hand travel away from that, and it can be vertical the same way. The only thing is vertically you can't go any further. But if you put the hand from here to here, you can go back as far as you want. <laughs> Yeah, I'm saying, what the hell is Yeah, this? you're making fun of my casting really bad. <laughs> <laughs> I never do that. No, no, you <laughs>
Thank <laughs> you. 